Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-April 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So the last few weeks or a month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what is coming for the remainder of April. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a healing note, and a crystal of the month for you, Pisces. But let's go ahead and get started in column number one. Again, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So the last few weeks or a month. We're going to pull a summary affirmation card to kick us off here. We have the card, I feel transformed. Um, so definitely some sort of transformation, significant change and growth happening for you in these last few weeks or months. Um, you could still be in the process of this transformation as well, but let's see what messages we've got going on here. Super exciting though. Transformation is always good. Kind of unlocks the next chapter of life for us here, Pisces. But first up we have the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of leaving a legacy. So whatever this transformation is, whatever this change is, it's really significant. Um, again, it's leaving a legacy. It's laying the groundwork, the foundation for next steps in life for you. So really like that. This can be a card of retirement. Congratulations to those of you that are retiring. This could also be like an inheritance or some sum of money as well. Of course, that could be life-changing and transformative for many. The next card that we have is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is a card of... Um, the Judgment card is a card of clarity. So getting the information that we need. Perhaps there was some clarity that really is driving this transformation for you. With the Judgment card, this is also like making a decision. Um, and very much so, this is about living your life's purpose. So that's why this transformation feels so significant. Again, we're much better aligned now with our life's purpose than we were before. At the bottom here, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork, commerce, expansion. Um, this has been significant growth for you, significant expansion. Um, there could be some travel involved with this too. Perhaps you're moving or traveling somewhere new. Um, and that could have driven some of this transformation as well. Um, but definitely uh, the growth and the expansion associated with that Three of Wands. Let's take a look now at our clarifiers and see what other messages I've got here for you. First up, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a card of healing, nurturing, growing. Um, if you look at the cup on the Queen of Cups, it's really not a cup, it's a trophy. And it's, you are this trophy, and it's about polishing yourself and putting yourself at that trophy level. Um, so I like this. I think we're taking good care of ourselves, we're supporting ourselves, we're helping ourselves grow here. Uh, we're treating ourselves as the trophy we should be through this transformation. The next card that we have is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a card of um, starting something new. So it's very active. It's new project. It's new undertaking. Um, in this case, it's like starting this new chapter through this transformation. Um, with the Page of Wands, this is like energizing too. So this is like the Energizer Bunny type card almost. Um, so there will be a lot of like excitement and energy as we go into this transformation. Again, it's about filling that life's purpose. So it's much more naturally motivating for us because of that. And last but not least, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. So really celebrating this growth, celebrating this travel. Um, 
I like the way that this has played out. Again, I don't know that this transformation is fully complete yet, but we're transformation underway, if that makes sense. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to what's coming for the remainder of April. We have the card, I will pray. Um, if the word pray doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. This could be, I will hope, I will manifest, I will dream, um, I will pray. Whichever of those words sits well, feels good, resonates with you. But there's something we're praying for, something we're hoping for here, Pisces. Let's take a look and see what cards we got. First up, Pisces, we have the death card. I always like to throw this out there and clarify right from the beginning, especially for those that don't know. The death card does not mean death. So just throwing that out there. However, conveniently, the death card is a card of transformation. So I was saying, I don't feel like this transformation is done and over with yet here, Pisces. Um, so the death card, though, coming through, this is big changes. This is things ending. It's moving on. It's time to move on. Um, it's transformation. It's rebirth for some, even. That's how significant this transformation feels. The next card that we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a card of being very bold um, and being very courageous. So having the making the bold moves, being brave enough to make these changes, courageous enough to make these changes. Um, the King of Wands is also like a card of being in power. So it's like this is putting you in your position of power. This is putting you on your path uh, to your greatest good. Love that. And then at the bottom here, we have the moon card. The moon card is a card of voluntary changes. You know, this transformation isn't being pushed on you. This is something you want. The moon card is really important to trust your trust your intuition too. We're on this journey. We're on this path. Um, and now that we're here, let your intuition continue to guide you forward and what actions you may need to be taking. Let's take a look at our clarifiers though. First up, we have the devil card. The devil card is a card of addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Um, it's typically overdoing something with the devil card. And very likely this is what our transformation forward, this is what our transformation is going away from. Um, that's not to say that this is it, but it definitely could be one of those things. Again, this could be addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, um, something that there was too much of. We're moving forward, we're transform transforming transforming away from. The next card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles previously too. Again, this is leaving a legacy. This is big long-term uh, moves. This is the next step on your path. This is the next thing to your life's purpose. So love those paired together. Um, Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles repeat is great to see there. Um, and again, that King of Wands is like putting you in your position of power, which makes sense. At the bottom here, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the perfect vision, the ideal. Um, this is typically like Prince or Princess Charming. So in terms of love, it's like your Prince or Princess Charming. Um, in not terms of love, though, this is like, again, the picture perfect, picturesque, ideal situation. So I love this. Um, this transformation is taking you towards your ideal. The uh, what you have been praying for, what you've been hoping for, what you've been manifesting for. This is like big, serious energy here, uh, Pisces. I like it. Um, but definitely probably the most significant, meaningful reading I've had this month. But let's move on to our next column now, which is anything related to money. So starting out with a quick money message here. Your means of receiving money should always be aligned with the highest good of all. Receiving money from low vibration, low vibration means will keep you in that vibration to maintain that stream of income. So high vibrations in terms of money. Let's take a look though. So this call we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. The first card is the page of coins or the page of cups. This is a card of being very patient. So think about patience as we go into anything this month. But this is new job, raise, promotion, some sort of money news. So some really strong movement here and likely something you've been patiently waiting for, Pisces. 
The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. Um, on a traditional tarot deck, there's something different in each of these cups, so that is an indicator of being very busy, so be aware for these next few weeks, work could be really busy for you. Um, again, it's something different, lots of different things happening at once. One thing that I will say is the Seven of Cups, this can be kind of non-committal energy, so... I do think there's something new, but it's like you might hesitate once you get there and you may feel non-committal. So we're going to clarify that and see if I can give you some guidance of which direction to go. And at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Coins or the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of patience. It's hard work. It's delayed success. Um, we were talking with the Page of Coins. This is new job, raise, or money news, but there's a strong sense of patience um, surrounding this page. So definitely something you've been waiting for, but now that it's here, you kind of feel non-committal, Pisces. Let's see, though. Okay, no doubt that we should move forward or move on with this new opportunity. So on top of our page of coins, we have the sun card. In terms of good card in the tarot deck, it really doesn't get much better than the, the sun card. This is material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. So I hope you do jump on this new opportunity and capitalize on it. Um, again, super, super favorable outcome with the sun card there. On top of our seven of cups, which is our non-committal card, we also have the fool card. The fool card is the first card in the major arcana. This is fresh hope, taking chances, new paths, adventures, beginnings. Again, this is saying go for it, take the opportunity. I'm trying to figure out what's driving the non-committal energy, um, but hopefully you can see through it and definitely pursue that new opportunity that's coming through with the page of coins. At the bottom here, we have the five of cups. This is like a card of grief or regret. I feel like some of you think you may be letting people down if you move forward or like you'll miss the people that you work with or maybe you'll like miss the company. So some of those are, I think are some of the feelings potentially that are feeding into that non-committal energy. Okay, now at this time, let's take a look at anything related to love. Similar to money, we're gonna start with a quick message. Of course, you're gonna have another transformation card, Pisces. We are not done talking about transformation. The card says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So transformation, transformation, transformation. But in this call, we're gonna talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you think of when you think of love here, Pisces. Uh, first, we have the five of wands. Oh my goodness, so sorry. Hold on. Okay, now we're good to go again. Um, uh, first, we have the five of wands. The five of wands is a card of challenges. There's something that keeps popping up. There's some sort of bump in the road. I feel like there may be like an unresolved conflict here. Again, this is like one thing that seems to keep just popping up. We're going to clarify that a little bit further, but again, I'm feeling like there's one thing that we need to resolve. Or a conflict, a reoccurring conflict that needs to be resolved. The next card that we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Um, I like this. This is a really good card anytime we have it in the Love card. This is love for yourself, Pisces, as well as love... Um, by those around you. So a nice mix of both happening here. It's also super respectful. So whatever this conflict is, I have no doubt that we can resolve it because again, the love is here and the respect is here. With the strength card, the lion on the strength card is actually a courage. Um, actually means courage. So I feel like it's like the courage to bring up this thing that may be bothering us or this reoccurring issue that could be happening. At the bottom here, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restrictions. Again, this is like convincing yourself to bring up this thing that's bothering us or um, this, this conflict that needs to be resolved. So um, this is like being able to convince yourself to say something about it. Let's take a look at clarifiers, though, and see what other messages I can give you. Uh, first, we have the Judgment card. 
I always want to throw this out there. The judgment card is always favorable to you, Pisces. So this is an indicator of a good outcome. Um, this is clarity. I like this because with clarity, there comes resolution. So I do think this is something that can be solved. Um, if you bring light to it, you can get clarity on why they're respond reacting away and why you react away. It's like there's possibility to talk this out. So I like to see the judgment card here on top of the five of wands. So I really do think whatever this thing is that's bothering you, this situation, this reoccurring thing, it's something that can be resolved. The next card that we have is the chariot. Somebody once described to me the chariot as the vroom vroom card. It means there's action, there's change. It's about being on a journey. Um, and every single relationship is on a journey. The growth never stops. The journey never stops in a relationship. Um, so it's like this will keep moving the relationship forward. This will keep the journey moving forward. Um, there is no perfect relationship from the beginning under any circumstances. So just keep that in mind. Um, but this is part of the journey, part of the growth. And again, the chariot's forward moving. So this will move you forward. At the bottom here, we have that repeat five of wands. So again, there's something like some conflict that needs to be addressed, something that keeps popping up, some sort of issue that needs to be addressed there. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, Pisces, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I feel loved. Um, I hope that you do genuinely feel loved, Pisces. It's very evident, the love and support that's here great relationship here with a lot of deep love. Um, but you are loved. You should love yourself and you are loved by those around you. Let's see what messages we've got coming through here though. What else we can work through? Um, uh, first we have the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles. This is a card of enjoyment, enjoying the things that you're doing. Oftentimes this is enjoying work, but this can be enjoying of all things. So um, I think this is going to very much so shape up to be a love column, just given the other cards. So we need to make sure we're enjoying our relationships. I think you put a lot of hard work and effort into the relationships. You reap the benefits of that. But again, it's important that we truly enjoy every second of these relationships. The next card that we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very romantic. It's a card of partnership, proposal, marriage. Um, if you're hoping to enter into a new relationship, this is great. Or again, if you're looking to get married, grow your family. Um, some super strong love cards coming here at the end. And again, true enjoyment of this relationship. At the bottom here, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an ace card, it's a card of newness. So new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage, very similar messages to the um, two of cups. So definitely some strong, strong love energy coming in through here. Let's take a look. You had to have one more transformation card because they didn't say transformation enough to you. First up, we have the death card. The death card is a card of transformation. It's big change, it's growth, it's moving forward. Um, there's no doubt that there is a relationship growing in some way, shape, or form here with this spread of cards. So your your relationships also are transforming. The next card we have is the moon card. The moon card is like, we're ready for this change. We're ready for this relationship. We're ready for this next step. Um, so I really like that energy. And at the bottom here, we have the king of cups. This is very supportive, very tolerant, very empathetic. Um, just some key high traits of what this relationship is. Um, really great traits for a relationship to possess. So uh, love, strong, strong love there at the end. Okay, Pisces, at this point, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the three of diamonds. This is number 48 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the six of hearts. This is number three card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the five of clubs. This is number 33 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes is across the board there, Pisces. We're also going to pull a card from our healing stones deck. Healing stone. Crystal to keep with you through the month of April. You have Garnet this month, which is good for crisis management, helps solve chaos, um, helps you live into your power as well. And last but not least, we have our healing note. Your healing note says, every day holds new magic. 
Thank you so much, Pisces, for tuning in, watching, and listening. I hope this reading resonates with you. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if it does. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Pisces, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your April.